You clearly don't know who you're talking to. So let me clue you in. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot, and you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. I am Lou Diamond. Want to learn from those that are taking their lives, their businesses, and their passions to the next level? Best-selling author of Master the Art of Connecting and professional speaker Lou Diamond is here to connect you to some of the most inspiring and amazing people on the planet. Get ready to thrive loud with Lou Diamond. Welcome, everyone, to another spectacular episode of Thrive Loud with Lou Diamond, connecting you to the most inspiring and amazing people that are thriving each and every day. I'm your host, Lou Diamond. Today on Thrive Loud, we have a coach, mentor, truth seeker, and entrepreneur. He runs two highly successful companies, PSC Academy and Build Goal Incorporated. He has over 20 years of experience in training people to tap into what he calls the zone, and we're going to tap into it right now. Thrive Loud listeners, Jafar, Master Jeff. Jafari, we're going to call you Master Jeff for the rest of the call here. How are you doing, sir? How's everything? Uh, thanks so much, Leo. Yeah, everything is perfect. I'm very glad to you have me here. So the it's it's been a great day, and it's going to be the better now with you on a podcast. Uh, I hope it's going to be the great for everybody who's listening. Well, obviously that's the case because their their day literally just got brighter by hearing your voice and mine together. So, Master Jeff. Thank you. I want to get. I want to do a little rewind. I want to let the listeners know a little bit about you. We're not going to go all the way back to the womb. That just would be too personal. Uh, we're going to go a little bit back to understand how this became your gig. Specifically, this. Whole, I want to lead into the whole thing about the zone, if you could. So, let's rewind. Um, we're, you've been running these companies for how long? Um, Academy and Build Goal. Uh, it's been seven years this company is, has been established, but it, um, I'm doing all these procedures and the program for the past two decades. So, Okay. So what would you say is your superpower? Oh, <laughs> that's a great question. So my superpower is to be connecting with the people and be them friends. So uh, usually people ask me who you are. I say, I'm Jeff. I am your friend. So I, I get this from John Maxfield is the, the greatest coach I ever seen. I grew up with his book. So I have, a, uh, I, I was honored to be in the uh, same places with him several times and uh, getting directly advice from him. He's one of the greatest. So I always said, I am Jeff. I am your friend. So I'm not going to the whole scenario and what I've done for the past up to here. I said, what can I do to help you or add value to whatever you do? So I try to be, you know, uh, help people and add value to what they, they do in their life. Okay. So one of the things that you help add value to is helping them tap into this thing called the zone. I want to understand, yes. first of all, I mean, I've seen it in sports, you know, when somebody is completely like, you know, hitting all the shots or, you know, knocking the ball out of the park or just better than everybody on the field. How does that relate to the work that you do in helping mentor and coach top performers? Uh, that, that's a great question too. So uh, I had a chance to talk to Mr. Tim Grover. So we'd be putting all information together to understand what exactly I do and what exactly he, he does, which he's helping the, the sport and helping the people to go one step further and do something which they're thinking they're not capable of doing it. So, and what I'm doing, I, I brought the people to the zone, which they, they wouldn't be think they, they are able to do uh, and come in this zone. So I'm, I'm going to a little bit more deeply in yeah. what I'm exactly doing. So entering to the zone is the most powerful experience every human being could experience it. So the, this zone could be different, you know, but the zone I'm talking about it, it's inner potential zone. It's very tricky. This inner potential zone, it has less than 1% capacity in our brain. Hmm. And his responsibility is to help us to get out, out of every situation we are, every danger situation we are into the safe zone. So maybe we are as a human, we're using this uh, inner potential zone. It's like a red button. You just click on it, save your life. So, and maybe we don't have this opportunity to, to use this uh, 
human future we have. <laughs> I'm calling it the human future. So uh, to enter to this zone, we have to trick human brain. So human usually is go to this zone automatically when they fear you no know, danger. They, they feel yeah. you are in a very impossible situation and you need some superhuman power to get out of that situation. We read a lot of articles in, in the newspaper, you know, that the housewife was running to catch his son and they, they measured the, the, the distance and the speed she, she, she went through and they said it's impossible. She break the record of Olympics. So this is happening when we need it. This power is within us. We just need to call. We just need to, you know, click on a button and it would be activated. But we don't know where is it and how we have to activate it. That's why we're tricking human brain in 48-hour course to, to make the simulation for them to understand that's the only thing they have to do. Okay. And so, so going wait, to wait. I'm going to jump in. I want to jump in. Yeah, okay. okay. So we totally get it. Somewhere inside of our body, inside of ourselves, we have this unbelievable power. And you're calling that power the zone. And it's the thing that usually is identified when we have extreme fear or extreme circumstances. Like, yes. you know, um, you the, the example, the woman running real fast or people lifting cars to save their babies, exactly. all that stuff. Okay. <clears throat> now, these superpowers, which come right out. Are, are something deep within us. It's something that we can only tap into in those emergency situations. But you, what you're saying is you put together a two day program that enables yeah. people to know how to get into it. Okay, right. Exactly. I, I want to understand <laughs> what, so first of all, let's talk about it. Why do we want to tap into this super, this super zone power that you're calling? Oh, that is, you know, all your question is brilliant. Thank, I love that. Thank you to brought out this question. So, we couldn't believe ourselves unless we know who we are and what we are capable of and what is our ability. So we, through the time, you know, once we are baby, so we have a lot of passion, a lot of things we want to do in the future because we believe we can do whatever we want it. But once we grow up slowly, slowly, our, you know, life is start and, you know, the, what I call it, the quality of thinking is going to be lower and lower and lower. And for some of the people around the planet, they just don't want to be in a debt at the end of the month. So they forget about the passions, visions, who they are and what they are capable of. So once we are helping people to tap on this unbelievable zone and they experience maybe once in their whole life, Okay, and as our human body, physically, we cannot stay in that much power. It, it's going to be around five to 10 seconds. That's it. So once they experience it, once they see them uh, true self, they cannot, you know, detach from it because they see themselves. So basically, the first day we're helping them to take off the mask. So that's the hardest part. That's the hardest part because we are as a human, we are carrying a lot of masks, masks to, to visit the society, masks to visit our loved one, masks to, <laughs> to go out Wait, for the business. So I wanna, I wanna connect an important dot here because I do recognize this. Look, I got the whole part of where you can tap into the stuff that your body has incredible strength. Yeah. And you're saying just giving somebody the ability to see what their incredible potential is, is it gonna elevate them to new levels? It might be the way they could run, the way yes. they live, the capabilities of what they handle. But let's also translate this into something that's that's useful, which is seeing that you can tap into it. And obviously there's a range, I'm assuming, that you can tap into this. Not only just strength, I'm imagining there's other things, physical abilities, maybe emotional um, reactions yeah. or even the way we think, I'm thinking of the movie Limitless, where you know you tap into a pill yeah. and there's nothing you could do. <laughs> what I want to know is, is you're you're tapping into this magical component within us, which is which is real and is is something that is doable. But I want to understand the range of why they want to tap into this. What what's what do you see as the ultimate ball? You could see the the the, the benefits of knowing the potential, but. Like you just said, you can't do this all the time. So you got to pick and choose what, how you use this for. How do you help people pick and choose how they can use this power? Ah, uh, that's a long answer I have to give to you. I want it. Our, our, <laughs> listener, our listeners want yeah. it. Our listeners yeah, want because, it. Because, you know, we are as an entrepreneur, we love the stage and the speakers. You just give us the microphone. You have to stay there for the next 48 hours. So I have to tell you, the other 48 uh, our, our seminars it started from 8 a.m. The first day is finished at midnight. And the second day, we don't know when it's going to be finished. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. So 
this is sometimes we are on the stage over 18 hours. So mm-hmm. I love to speak that, but I try to make it short and uh, speak about the, the points which you are yeah. highlighted. Okay. So uh, why people need it? Okay. I was explaining to you. The first day we try to take off the mask from people because all of us, we are as a human, we, we have a lot of masks which we carry on everywhere we go because we want to show everybody we are feeling good everything is great you know to parents to the family to the partner to the, you know society so for one and the only one time in our life because this course we created it has the uh, a strange contract the mm-hmm. first contract is you are only able to attend once okay. in your whole life we keep the database you cannot come back again so Either you get the point or you don't get it. This is a one-time opportunity, two days to understand. We want the people to be present and be 100% put forth in a course. So once they come, the first day we help them to take off the mask. So they don't care who's left and right, front or back. Everybody has the same dress code. So nobody is higher or lower. So everybody feels we are the same. So we, we create the environment. People feel, okay, let Let's try it. You know, it's a two days. Maybe it's worth it. So we can do whatever we have done for the you know past weeks, past months, past years, or let's do something different. Maybe it's worth it. So what we do, you know, is the same like the car, which is it was parked outdoor, and it slowly, slowly the sand and dust come all over the car. So once we tap the people into this zone, it's going to explode the massive energy out and clean up the car. So then you understand who you are and what you are capable of, what you want in your life, what which part, why you fail in your life for the past, what was the reason, and how you have to build it up to get it. So how we do it, we, we're breaking all the habits. You're creating over times for yourself and limited which you put it for yourself step by step. So we cre- we're breaking all this limited and the, uh, the walls and the stuff. So I'm not going to be a stay on a stage to say, okay, let's do this and break the wall. I'm take out my jacket, go down and stay together. So I put 200% and you have to put 100%. So we are not supposed to walk on the fire or claim the wall. We're supposed to face off to our true self. So that's the hardest part. Okay. So I like it. I get the idea They're They get inspired. They're there. I have two questions. First is how do they take it with them? And, you know, anytime you go to any amazing life and spirit experience event, when you leave the event, you're, you're high off that high, but obviously life or other things bring you down. What component of the way that you help people, uh, achieve the zone and understand the power of it. How do yeah. you get them to continue to know how to tap into it when they need it and to embrace the power of it on an ongoing basis? That That's great. So I answered this question. I don't know. It was with 50 Cent, which he wrote the article about me on his page, or it was in New York Times. I don't remember. But it was my main question from day one. So I went to the motivational stage and, you know, entrepreneur stage and, you know, gathering seminars. I see the people getting motivated. They understood the point. They know what they have to do and they go out of the door. And after two days, three days, they go back to the same habits and everything would be forget. And it was my main question. What can I do to be different? How can I help the people to carry on these energies, these images, which they created along the way to the success path? So that's why I create the techniques. So it's, which is helping them. First, I needed to show them where is the zone? How does it look like? How does it feel to don't go to the wrong direction? So once they understand it, where is the zone? Then I teach them the technique. So it's a three-step technique. So uh, there is an activity which they can access to this point less than a minute. Okay. Anytime they want it, as long as they do this exercise every single day for one minute. So they have to maintain in the, in the level. Okay. It's same like bodybuilder, you know, the, I don't know, hundred meters uh, marathon. So they cannot say, okay, I'm the champion. Now I go sleep for the two years. Then anytime I want it, I can be the champion again. It's impossible. So you have to maintain, you know, you have to have the routine and exercise. And this is one minute exercise. They do it with a special word and the freeze. We give it to them. So this word is, it brought them back exactly where they were when they touched the zone. So uh, I teach them how to access to the highest level of emotion because they have to be in the highest level, a highest stage of emotion to be connected to the uh, inner potential zone. This word 
it brought them back again in the same scenario and the image come to demise and they can immediately access to the inner potential whenever they need it, or they can overcome the fear, overcome the obstacles. Every single part in them, their life, when they feel they're weak, they need a little bit more push, they become self-motivator. That's my goal, to help the people to become self-motivator, not to be always looking for you know, outside people to help them to be motivated, go one step ahead. No, I wanted them to be self-motivator and they could help the others to be self-motivator and change their life. So that's my main goal because always I told them, nothing happened in this two-day seminar. The true, the real life started after you leaving these doors. So if you learn something here, you have to be prepared for those days when you need it. And believe me, always we need it. I like In it. Our regular life, always we need it. Yeah. When was the first time that you, I'm going to start calling you Master Jedi instead of Master, you know, Jeff, because <laughs> Master Jeff, you're, you're, you're giving them the, the secrets to the good or the bad of the side of the force. Um, when was the first time you experienced tapping into the zone? <sighs> This is <laughs> that's a great question because every single time I was thinking, I'm tapping the zone. Mm -hmm. The next time I was feeling, oh, it was another level and it wasn't a zone. I have more ability until 2000 and I started from 2000. So 2008, it was the first time I touched the, the real inner potential zone. And it was unbelievably unexplainable <laughs> situation I was in because what I was experiencing, it was something which I wanted everybody from that moment to, to get and tap to this zone and experience it because I wanted them to feel because it was very different than, you know, what, what I've done in the past. And you know what? It stayed there. It wasn't anything about that. The rest, it was your capability and your ability to do more. But the zone was that place I was adventured and tried to help the people to get access to it. So this is interesting. I like this. You, you, you've, you, you were hit by it personally. You recognized the power of it and you wanted to share it with the rest of the world and show them how they can all tap into it. Um, I love asking guests on the program this question, and I want to see the variation that you're going to come up with here, Master Jeff. On most days, you are thriving. You're tapping into the zone. You're doing all the things that you do best. But we all have those days when we're not quite kicking on all cylinders. The question, Master Jeff, I have for you is what practice do you seek or what individual do you seek out maybe to help you get back in the zone, to get yourself back on the thriving track? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I tell you, the first things, I'm helping to people to be the self-motivator. So once you, you learn this art, this is absolutely an art. You help to get up because believe me, there is no one out there to come to wake you up. There is no one out there. When you fall down, they come and say, oh, sorry, let me to help you out. No, believe me, as much as you become successful, there is so many more people out there. They're looking for the moment you fall down <laughs> than to help you to get up, you right. know? You know, I'm talking about friends, family, related. The word is so strange, okay? And once you learn the art, how to be self-motivated, you can change your life forever. And it's, it doesn't mean if I'm the transformational coach and I'm helping people to be motivated and positive, I'm always stay at the most highest positive level in my life. No, all of us, we have the down part, upper part you know even during the day <laughs> we are human we cannot say okay i'm coming from another planet there's a lot of things comes to us which make us negative you know there is a lot of news from the friend relative you know that is happening during this covid time so we are not expected so it's, it's going to affect but the art is how fast we can recover how fast we can get back on a track it doesn't mean you shouldn't get negative. You, are, you always stay in positive level. You never get down. No. The important question is how fast you can get back on track. This is very important. So there is a lot of people out there. I admire them. I love them. I follow them. So anytime I'm at my down part, so I'm listening to them speech. This is a great Les Brown, Tony Robbins. 
I love him. You know, John Maxwell and the recent friend I have, Ken, he is the, the creator of Create Event. So he's the number one entrepreneur uh, stage on the East. So I, I love these people. You know, anytime I, I feel I'm down, I try to surround myself purposely with the people that, who they have the highest level than me. So just sit with them and chit chat. Then immediately I'm going up. Let's do the admin part of the show here, Master Jeff. Share with the listeners all the places people can find you, websites, URL, any programs yeah. you have coming up, shows coming out in, uh, uh, in yeah. February here. So <laughs> where can they find you? So they can find me on the Instagram is the, the place which mostly I am there. So even though I have the social media teams, they are running all my social media. So I will bring every content I have, all the platform, website, everything. And I start to digitalize what program we are able to do, not the special program we, we're doing. So this is special program, they call it philosophy of success. So this program, it has to be happen physically under the bar room, closed roof, because you have to be in control from the environment, weather, temperature, smell, everything, lighting, sound, everything you have to be in control to, to brought unconsciously nobody understand it so to, to brought the people in the zone so uh they can find me on instagram master jeff official so all the information i'm going to give to the people i, I try to do it from there so end of march the, the website and platform for online uh, packaging we have so it's going to be launched so i'm going to give the announcement on my instagram and that they can find me you know uh, the, the, I had an interview with the LA News. So regarding to, I, I'm the the first entrepreneur to have the the positive mindset thinking courses on metaverse. So I'm going to give them oh, the nice. location and other people they can come. There is absolutely free. So this is the six times I'm doing that. So for the past few months, and uh, we're going to have on June entrepreneur stage in LA. California is, is going to be massive and unbelievable speaker on a stage. And on August, we're going to have the biggest hybrid uh, conference and seminar. Okay, which I'm not going to give a lot of more information about that, but it's, I'm going to shoot it at the time on my social media. It's going to be the biggest hybrid seminars ever happened um and there's you got a so lot of plans it's going to be unbelievable speakers. Ma Master Jeff has yeah. a lot of plans going on. <laughs> I like it. it. Well, well, we, we yeah. If, if you're asking me, I know exactly every single day, every single month, what I'm planning to do for the next at least four to five years. I have my whole calendar on my, my wall, so to say exactly what I'm doing for the next month, every single day, every single week, and every single year. So this is how it has to be. So let's see uh, listener, how listen. successful we can be and how helpful we can be listeners need to know you know obviously the thrive loud podcast made this opportunity so we got into the four-year calendar i just hope i hope now listeners need to listen to it as well as they can get in okay yeah. <laughs> so, so master jeff you want to go down fun street with me here yeah why not let's uh, go <laughs> all right yeah. share, share with the listeners what you shared with me was your all-time favorite movie oh the all-time favorite movie, it was actually, it was two movies. One, it was The Gladiator, so which uh, inspired me every time. Still, I'm watching it because it was about a guy who go after the dream, even though if he knew from the beginning it's going to be end of his life. Mm -hmm. But he he stand, he stand for what he believed and die in, in proud. Mm -hmm. So... I love it. And I, you know, always I'm talking about this movie, my seminars and the highlighted a part, which is important. I love this speech. Uh, William Wallace <laughs> oh, uh, has at the time. Yeah. You, you, can, yeah, you, at the time you, you can't go wrong with those move. two movies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they, he, they said uh, Gladiator and uh, Braveheart. So, yes. These two movies, it was the greatest movie I ever had. You know, the speech, the leaders, how they can change and impact the people when they losing hope, yeah. when they losing, you know, the momentum. They said, that's it. They prepare to die and how the leader can bring them together, elevate them and make them the winner and try to make them the history for the next generation to say how your parents stand and how they defeat and how they fight. Yeah. I like it. I, I like love it. that. 
Two, two, and good music on both of those. Okay. We're going to oh, do, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do the speed round here on Fun Street. This is how this works. Master Jeff, I'm going to ask you a question. I want the first thing that comes to okay. your mind. These are things that lift you up, motivate you, make you feel good. They basically make you thrive. You ready? Okay. All right. Let's of, go. Of late, a song that you love to listen ah. to or one that pumps you up? Okay, it should be English song, right? <laughs> it, could, it could be any, no, it could, it could be, it's whatever it is. It could be whatever yeah, song yeah. you like to hear. What song, anywhere? Yeah. Uh, the, my, my favorite Persian singer is uh, uh, Aaron Afshar. Okay. So he's one of my, um, you know, his sound is great. So whenever I listen to his sound, and it is a great question because it's very important what music we are listening because people sometimes they forgot the power of work which unconsciously being put in our brain, how harmful can be in our daily activity and our future. So we have to be careful what we listen because our brain don't care. We're listening to the music or some negativity outside is going to react physically. Yeah. And then we don't understand what is wrong around us because it's what you put input, you get it, you know. Uh, garbage in, life. garbage in, garbage so, out. Uh, this is the one. <laughs> yeah garbage in garbage out yeah gonna... yeah the, the english version music uh, <coughs> I, I i love adult okay so i'm sometimes listening to his music but the celine dion because i i grew up with her music so whenever celine dion has the the concert i am there at the first seat and i'm like... listening to to her music so i'm going to support her anywhere she is a favorite food that is not a dessert kebab I'm a Persian. Okay. Which which <laughs> which type of kebab? Yeah, it's a kupi de kebab. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you like it ground up. I love all kind of food because I have to travel all around the world. I was on a stage over forty countries, so I was so picky at the beginning. Then I understood, you know what? Leave it. So now I almost eat everything uh, in terms of food anywhere I go, and I enjoy. What's your favorite dessert? Ah, okay. My favorite dessert is napoloni. Mm cake and there is a restaurant in Beverly Hills 208 every single week I go there and the only thing that tracked me there that dessert <laughs> they just start, and they know they and just, they know they the should. first thing I asked I said do you have available they say yes I said give me a table <laughs> that's great yeah an activity you wish you did more of Okay, so I was uh, I was blessed to speaking to so many great entrepreneurs and successful people on this planet, and you know most of them when they reach to fifty plus, they have only one things in common. When I ask them uh, if you go back in time, what you mostly do more, and what do you want to change? They said one more hour to spend on our health. Okay. So the health is very important. The activity, I love the extreme activity. So in terms of sport, I love the hiking, you know, the okay. mountain climbing, you know, and, you know, I'm going to for the off-roading, the, the hard and extreme off-roading. So I buy the new Bronco only for that reason. Uh, so uh, parachute, <laughs> I love all of this. Act I, I want to do something which Act normally people, they don't do. It. Gotcha. What's yeah. an activity you wish you did less of? Less of to be lazy. Okay, there you to go. Be lazy, you know. Uh, I have to be honest. I told you, I, I cannot be you know, unrealistic. I'm the human. Human being, naturally, they love to be lazy. Just ask them, if you have two days holiday, what do you do? You say, I'm going to the beach. I'm going to the Hawaii, lay down, I enjoy up the sun. Yeah. Sometimes I go back in the time and said, oh my God, I could have done much more. But sometimes, I, I cannot say... Um, I'm regret, but I'm the human. So I have to do a mistake to learn. Gotcha. It's still I'm doing mistake and I'm learning. So, but I try to use most of my time, okay, in the best way, because it's not about me. Maybe those minutes and those hours could help a person can help a thousand and millions. There's a story is taking one minute. Do we have time? I don't know why we called it the speed round, but yes, we have a little bit of yeah. time. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a story. I, I love that and always mention it in my seminar. It said it was the boy was walking uh, around the beach and see a thousand of the thousand of a star. It just come off the water and, you know, lay down on the beach. So he, he lay down and take one, one by one and throw back to the, to the sea. 
it was a gentleman come to me and say, what are you doing? There is a millions of starfish out here. You cannot help them out. And the, the boy didn't say anything. Just look at the guy and lie, lay down and take another starfish and throw it back to the water. He said, at least I say one. So that story has helped me a lot to think. Maybe that one starfish, that one person is the person can help the millions. So every time in my seminar, I said, I don't care how many thousands of people you are here. We're looking for five people because there is a math. And I don't know this magical math from where it's coming. Only five people, they understand mm -hmm. what is happening here. And one out of these five become a star. So I'm looking for that star because that star can change millions. We don't know who he is. The shy lady sitting in front of the old man sitting at the back. Nobody knows at the beginning, but everybody recognizes it at the end. Every single person said that's a star. So, yeah, sorry to take the speed. No, on. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm going gonna, gonna to enjoy going to the beach and throwing starfish back in. That, yeah. That's for sure. If I could snap my fingers, Master Jeff, and you could be anywhere in the world, where are you? Uh, I want to be with my parents, oh. my mom, and my dad. Okay, because for the past 20 years, uh, I traveled a lot, being here and there. And I had less time to spend with them physically, even though I call every single day and the video call and make them laugh. Uh, because those are the source of the energy we have. We, we love it or we don't love it. The energy which we have and the standing and grows is come from mom majorly. And I can prove it in my seminar and then goes to the dad as well. So these are a source as much as they stand in blessing and the energy. So you would be more successful. You would be more standing tall and would be proud. So that's, that's, I would love right now. I love to be there. <laughs> Jafar, master Jeff Jafari, truly a pleasure to have you on thrive loud. I, I know our so listeners are, are, hoping that they can get to at least go once and check out your program. They're going to follow all the links. They're so, going to find all the yeah. stuff. They're going to listen to all the promos. And most importantly, uh, they're going to be glad that they heard you today on Thrive Loud. Thanks for coming on the program. Thanks so much, uh, Leo, to give me this opportunity, Leo, to, to be on this program. And I hope I could be helpful for the people who's listening. And I promise you, I'm going to throw out one webinar free of charge for the people who's listening to this podcast. Soon, I'm going to do the announcement on my Instagram, and I wanted to join and have some few hours to speak more in detail about what they are capable of and what they have to do to have the better relation, better future, and better health in a so simple techniques. Master Jeff, thanks for coming on the program. Thanks so much. And to all the <laughs> listeners out there, thank you for joining us. And until next time, keep moving onward and upward. And remember, be brief, be bright, be gone. You've been listening to Thrive Loud with your host, Lou Diamond. Check us out on the web at thriveloud.com and follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook at Thrive Loud. And check us out on the Good Pods app at Thrive Loud, where you can follow, listen, and connect directly to Lou and all of the Thrive Loud episodes. Thanks for listening.